everybody. Welcome inside fitnessinformant.com, Fitness Informant's YouTube channel. I'm FI founder and CEO, Ryan Buckeye. I want to thank you for stopping by to check out our explainer video on RevivemD's newest supplement, Blood Pressure RX. Now, RevivemD is a brand, a general health supplement brand, creating some of the highest quality supplements on the market, formulated by physicians and premier athletes in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. Blood Pressure RX was designed to lower elevated blood pressure or what we call hypertension. Now there are many factors that lead to hypertension in the world. Stress being probably the number one cause of hypertension. Stress induced elevated blood pressure. When your blood or when you actually have an elevation in stress levels, which many of us do, what happens is your heart beats extremely fast your blood vessels will shrink, therefore causing it very difficult for the heart to push blood through the blood vessels. That is what causes elevated blood pressure. Other causes for hypertension or elevated blood pressure are poor diet, especially in America. We have a poor diet of overprocessed foods containing a lot of sodium in it can cause your blood vessels to shrink and cause it to be very difficult for your body to push blood through your blood vessels. Another common cause of elevated blood pressure happens in the fitness community. We're an overstimulated society, meaning we consume a lot of caffeine and exotic stimulants. What this does, it increases your heart rate dramatically. And as your body, it, as your heart beats faster and faster, your blood vessels shrink because caffeine and other stimulants are what they call vasoconstrictors. So your blood vessels will shrink, your heart beats really fast, causing your blood pressure to elevate and rise to sometimes a dangerous level. This has led to cardiac arrest before in the gym and has led to death, which is something we obviously do not want. So general health isn't necessarily the most sexy category in dietary supplements, but it's something that people need to take note and be well aware of. Blood Pressure RX is one of the most well-designed blood pressure regulating formulas on the market today. So we're going to talk about the ingredients in Blood Pressure RX. Now one thing about many of the ingredients used in Blood Pressure RX is they, they are basically Indian herbs. There's not a lot of studies behind them, but there's a lot of information that says that, hey, this actually does lower elevated blood pressure. So, Unlike some of the ingredients that we break down here at FI that have clinical studies, whether it be on rodents or human beings, some of the ingredients that we talk about today may not have a study. That's not abnormal. It just happens quite a bit, especially within general health. So when we actually dive into the active ingredients in Blood Pressure RX, the first ingredient you get is garlic extract powder at 400 milligrams. Now garlic is one of the most popular known ingredients, supplements, vegetables on the planet to help elevate or help alleviate elevated blood pressure or hypertension. There's been several different clinical trials. One as recent as 2013, which had 79 participants that suffer from hypertension. The participants were either given garlic extract at a dose of 240, 480, or 960 per, daily, per day, or a placebo. What the results showed is that at, at 480, and 960 milligrams daily of garlic, it actually significantly lowered your blood pressure. Now, in this you get 400 milligrams of garlic extract. This is a two capsules and 60 servings per bottle. We recommend using two servings per day to make this a 30 day supply. So then you're getting 800 milligrams of the garlic extract, which is a proven number that will actually help lower your elevated blood pressure. The next ingredient is called Rejuna at 350 milligrams. Again, a double doses of this gets you 700 milligrams. Now, the active ingredients in this is actually Terminalia Arjuna bark extract, bark powder, and leaf. So that is, these, some of these ingredients are very unique. They actually are very difficult to pronounce, but the science and the research behind many of them is very promising. In this case, studies say a dosage of 500 milligrams of just bark only is sufficient. So you actually in this get bark, leaf, uh, combined in it, so you're at 350, a double dosage will get you 700 milligrams, which is well over the recommended 500 milligrams per day, which has been shown to reduce blood pressure. The next ingredient on this one is called Puneria powder at 112.5 milligrams. Now, this is an herb used in traditional Indian medicine. This is one of those ingredients that's been around for 3,000 years that there's not a lot of clinical research behind. But what this actually is, it's a diuretic, which means it's going to help increase blood flow, which is going to reduce hypertension. So anytime you can increase blood flow, it might be a nitric oxide, or in this case, it's a diuretic, which is going to increase your blood flow, can also make you sweat a little bit more, but it's going to help alleviate and reduce your hypertension. CoQ10 used next at 100 milligrams. This is a very important and popular ingredient that we see 
in general health today that's actually sold at big box retailers and a lot of people are behind coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10 because it may help reduce blood pressure. There was a meta-analysis done back in 2007 that looked at 12 different clinical trials which consisted of 362 different participants that showed that using CoQ10 actually did alleviate or lower blood pressure in hypertension patient, patients. That it has, CoQ10 has the potential to lower systolic blood pressure by up to 17 mmHg and diastolic blood pressure by 10 mm without significant side effects. So that is actually a good, good research study and this is a meta-analysis of all these different studies which shows that CoQ10 is going to be an effective ingredient or an effective supplement in terms of lowering your blood pressure. Rose hips is used next here at 62.5 mg. So rose hips actually are the round portion of the rose flowers just below the petals. So many ingredients that we get come from an herb or a plant because they've been shown to actually work. So a study in 2012 researchers looked at the effectiveness of rose hips on, on blood pressure. There was 31 participants in the study that was conducted over a six week period and the results indicated that the group who supplemented with rose hips significantly reduced their blood pressure by 3.4%. There is no optimal dosages of rose hips but it has shown to be effective. The next ingredient here is a very interesting ingredient and I'm going to try to pronounce it correctly. I may butcher it and if I do I am sorry. Um, it is shank push pee at 50 milligrams. Now shank push pee is another old Indian medicine drug basically used to boost cognitive performance and it may also lead to reducing blood pressure. There was a study in 2015 that looked at blood pressure lowering impact of this particular ingredient. 40 participants that were diagnosed with hypertension took this. Tests were taken before supplements day 7, 14, 21 and day 30 and the results indicated that 19 of the 40 participants had a significant reduction in blood pressure, 14 had a moderate reduction in blood pressure, and 5 had a mild improvement in, in blood pressure with only 2 people not improving. That is promising data behind that ingredient. The next ingredient, another interesting ingredient here, uh, natal kinase at 50 milligrams or 1000 FU. Um, this is an enzyme, it's basically a protein that speeds up the reactions in the body that is extracted from a popular Japanese food. What this actually does, it's commonly used orally for cardiovascular diseases including high blood pressure. That's straight from WebMD. In 2008, we looked at this ingredient in terms of um, it, its ability to reduce blood pressure and there was an eight week study done on 73 participants and they were giving 2,000 FUs per day. It actually showed a role, in, a very important role in preventing hypertension and lowering blood pressure. So 2,000 FUs per day, we're getting 1,000 FUs per serving. Again, back to my recommended servings, I say take two of these per day. Make this a 30 day supply, you are getting the full 2,000 FUs per day of this ingredient which is what is recommended per the study. Next ingredient here is tribulus terrestrius is at 50 milligrams or tribulus. This is typically used actually in testosterone boosters in the dietary supplement industry but it actually has a, a place within lowering blood pressure. It's actually very interesting. There was a study conducted on rodents and hypertensive rodents at 10 milligrams per day. The results indicated that these rodents that were using or supplementing with tribulus had significantly decreased their blood pressure compared to the ones that were not supplementing with anything at all. So this um, the, the key ingredient or the key active in tribulus is uh, saponinins which is what has been known to reduce the actual blood pressure overall. So it does yield 22.5 milligrams of that. Indian snake root used next at 25 milligrams. Very interesting ingredient also known as Rovia serpentina. It's a plant in which the root is used to make medicine. Again, a lot of these old medicine folk things out there actually do work. Um, in this particular case, back in like 1946 is how this dates back. This, um, this was dosed in a study with hypertensive patients and 85% of the patients experienced a drop in their SBP and 81% of the participants experienced a drop in their DBP. So both versions of blood pressure dropped by supplementing with this particular ingredient. Um, resp uh, reserpine, which is going to be the active ingredient within um, Indian snake root at 20 milligrams twice per day up to 15 participants was also studied at one point and the results indicated that the participants experienced a reduction in blood pressure overall and a, uh, an average I mean, it was a significant drop. So that was at 20 milligrams twice per day. We get 25 milligrams here. Again, I'm going to say take this twice per day. So you are going to be getting 50 milligrams over the recommended 40 milligrams that these studies have. Next ingredient here is Madagascar periwinkle extract at 12.5 milligrams. Periwinkle is an herb that has been shown to reduce blood pressure over and over and over again. It's a very interesting ingredient. It's used here in blood pressure RX. People swear by it and there's been shown to have reduction in overall blood pressure. And then the last ingredient here 
on the Blood Pressure RX is called Sun Theanine, which is just a branded version of theanine. Theanine basically is a mood elevation, anti-stress ingredient that is clinically dosed at anywhere between 50 and 200 milligrams per day. So a double dose of this is gonna get you 50 milligrams per day. What that does is if it puts you in a good mood and it alleviates stress, it removes a factor, an external factor in your life that would cause elevated stress, which can cause elevated blood pressure. So it's not combating the actual hypertension directly, it's trying to prevent it, which is very smart overall from Revive MD. So this is a very complex, complicated formula, Blood Pressure RX from Revive MD, but it's comprehensive, and that's the most important thing. They use ingredients with proven results at proven dosages. Again, my recommendation is, the guidelines on the bottle say two, two capsules is one serving. There's 60 servings in the bottle. I recommend turning this into a 30-day supply so you're taking two servings per day to get you those optimal dosages, actually more than optimal dosages, to reduce your overall blood pressure. For, for more reviews on and more in-depth uh, knowledge on Revive MDs, you can go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the red subscribe now button here below as we will have a lot more educational videos on this brand and their supplements. Make sure you follow us on all our social media channels. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. If you want to read and break down the entire product and the entire ingredients, we have a written breakdown over at fitnessinformer.com and that link is below in the description box. Make sure you subscribe to our podcast. It's called Be Informed, Live Fit. We actually have had Matt Jansen, one of the owners of Revive MD, on the show to discuss his background. It's very interesting stuff. And for more explainer videos, supplement reviews, supplement deals, rankings, news, fitness routines, and meal plans, make sure you visit us on our official website. We're online at fitnessinformant.com. 